Hi everyone, it's Lisa Kester with Wild Acorns Pottery. How are you this evening? Um, I did a video earlier today um, of the Cincy Bowls. Can't even remember now. <laughs> I've, been, I've been glazing so much today. Oh my gosh, you can see it's now dark behind me and I'm still glazing. I'm almost done. I've got three, six, I got seven mugs to do, but I don't know if I'll get to them tonight or not. Um, I might just load the kiln and save those for the third firing. I got um, to load tomorrow. I was going to load tonight, but it's too dark, so I won't be able to do a video of the unloading. So I'm going to, um, I think, wait till morning to unload it, do a video of the kiln unloading, so I can show you, show you how everything came out. And then, um, but anyway, so we'll see. I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> Hopefully I get it all fired before, before Friday. If not, I mean, I'll get it all fired. I'll, um, I may not take some of it till Sunday, Saturday. They're talking about rain. Um, I'm in an art festival this coming weekend, October 21st and 22nd, the Weber's family pumpkin festival. Um, if you watched my prior video today, you've already seen that. <laughs> you heard the same thing over and over again. <laughs> so anyway, you know, I had my mindset. I had a couple blank plates left and I thought, I'll do a couple Christmas plates. But then I did this bowl, which I haven't outlined yet. I got to outline it still. But then I did this bowl, this little fall. Can you see the little fishy in there? I did a little fall bowl. And I thought, hmm, I think this will look better when it's outlined. But anyway, um, so I thought, why not do a couple plates since I'm going to a pumpkin festival? Um, <clears throat> that's my allergies. Um, anyway, um, I may as well do some fall leaves and things, you know, and wait, wait for the Christmas till after this pumpkin festival because I have two more shows now after that. Um, one is at the Western Hills Country Club, ah, Western Hills Country Club, I can't even say that, I can't even talk anymore, um, that's on December 6th if you're local, and then I have the West Side Market Place, um, that is a, f mm, that is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, so that will all be definitely Christmas, and I, I want to do some pump, I mean pumpkins, I'm telling you, I'm losing my mind, um, <laughs> I'm going to do some snowmen, snowmen, and I am going to do Christmas trees. I'm going to do a Christmas tree tutorial, <laughs> um, but I've got to get past this pumpkin festival thing. So anyway, so I was going to do that, this plate, a fall leaf plate, and I, I've actually never done a fall leaf plate before. I did, I did a bowl that turned out kind of nice. Um, I fired that, and I don't know if I, I don't know if I showed that on videos or not um i think i did on my instagram account i showed that um but it'll be it won't be like this one um this is just is just gonna have um some branches and fall leaves so um we'll see how it turns out i'll lower you down so you can watch and watch and see how i uh i do this <laughs> so i did draw i don't know if you can see that with pencil pencil will burn out I did draw a little bit on here, um, but I want to get some of my colors on here. Um, I'm going to use some browns, and this is just, you know, whatever brown you want to use. This isn't, I don't remember what this brown was called. This might have been one I made up. I just added a bunch of colors together. I remember one of them, I was out of brown. And let's see, so I'm going to do a bunch of fall leaves. So I have some bright orange here. I'm just going to plop on here. This is, this is just regular orange. This is all Amico Velvet underglazes. Oh, it's real orange. This one's real orange. This one's bright orange. If you can see the difference. And the bright, the real orange will fire more orange than that. Normally, um, Amico Velvet Underglades is, is pretty much what you see is what you get. 
This is the first time I bought one of their glazes that reminds me of Mako under glazes, where Mako under glazes, um, they, get, they get a lot darker than what you see in the bottle. But, um, uh, but usually, yeah, usually um, Amico, it's pretty much what you see is what you get, which is kind of nice. Because then you can, then you, then you know what it's going to look like, you know. Uh, let's see, let me get some yellow out of here. This is just yellow. Let me, let me see if I got the color still of that. Um, that was, this is just yellow. This is intense yellow. This is just regular yellow. And then I've got some red. A little slap on there. And then this color here, I don't know if you can see that, that's just a made up color, okay? I just mixed some brown and red and some orange. Um, I had made this color because I was painting a bunch of pumpkins and I wanted a real deep pumpkin-y orange. Um, so that's kind of a, this is a little bit thicker, so there we go. We'll, we'll just spoon it out like pudding. Today is October 16th. It's my, still my wedding anniversary from the last video. And I've been glazing. Well, I went out to Queen City Clay this morning to get some more clear glaze. And... Um, so I did that, and then I went out there with my son, and um, we ended up picking up lunch and we home, and then I got home, and I've been glazing ever since. So I'm trying not to waste any of this. I'm trying to squeeze it out of here, but I'm probably going to make more of a mess. I just hate to waste thunder glaze, as expensive as it is. Maybe I'll mix a little with the brown. That would be pretty. There we go. Um, yeah, the, the, you know, the, well, you know, if you do pottery, you know the, the prices of, on especially uh, Amico Potter's Choice. Gosh, those prices have almost doubled on some of that stuff. It's it's uh, it's a little crazy. Um, okay, but I did notice that um, I bought. Oh, let's see if I can lift it up. So I bought this Mako underglaze. I mean, blah. <laughs> I bought, you know, guys, you guys know what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> I bought some Mako Stoneware Zinc Free Clear Glaze. It was $55. That is a bargain for a gallon of clear glaze. The um, Normally, <clears throat> I buy the HF9, the Amico's HF9. That would have been probably $90. So you save... 80 or 90 dollars. So you save a lot by buying the Mako. So I am actually trying to switch a lot of my glazes over to Mako. Um, this glaze I just bought. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I know I'm getting off track here. It's called Ivy. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Mako is really coming out with some beautiful glazes. But it's called Ivy. So I did a leaf in this and hopefully I can fit it in the kiln and you guys will see um, how that turns out when I open the kiln but look at that 12 12 75 that's it most of the the uh, amico pc glazes would be twice that amount of money almost so oh yeah because what did i get from there what is this is celadon's pretty cheap but this one is this is 15 dollars for the textured turquoise that's not too bad. I guess it depends on what color you get. But anyway, I'm getting off track here. And I I just, you know, I buy glazes for where I work also um, at the Dunham Recreation Center. And, you know, we've had to raise the price of our classes because the cost of the clay has gone up so much also. It's just... You know, it's getting to be a very expensive uh, livelihood. 
Okay, so enough blabbering, Lisa. Enough complaining. We shouldn't really be complaining about anything, should we? We've got it made here in the U.S. after all the turmoil that's going on in the world. Just makes my heart hurt for all those people suffering. Ugh. Okay. So, but I, I always, some people start off with their leaves first, and then they do the branches. Um, I, I don't know. I've got to know where it's going first. So, I start off with the branches first. Because, the, you know, the leaves will cover them up. A lot of them. So this just is the brown. It's got some red in it. And you got to be careful because you don't want to water this. I, I've got this watered down, but um, this brown can burn out a little. Actually, you know, when you're firing to cone 5, and I actually probably go to 5.5 almost because... I um I do a 10 minute hold. Sometimes I do a 15, but normally it's a 10. I kind of got out of the habit of doing a 15 or more or firing the cone six because uh, when I was using the dark clay, the uh, 266, I think that's Laguna, is that Laguna 266? Um, it does not like to, it, the dark clays do not like to be fired hot. They do not like to go to cone six. Um, I had some bloating in my dark clay, which is basically air bubbles in your clay. And, um, I was told that it does not like to go to cone six. So I stopped firing the cone six and I didn't have any problems with the bloating anymore. This looks kind of funky here. Not really liking that area, but I think I can probably fix that with um, leaves and I'm going to put some berries on here. I peaked in my kiln before. This new kiln, um, well, it's not, it's new to me. It's an old kiln, but um, it's in really nice shape. The woman who had it rarely ever fired it, but it um, doesn't tell me, like my Olympic kiln told me what the temperature was as it cooled down, where this one doesn't. So I got to kind of open it up and peek in and see um what the temp is that looks a little better it looks kind of well yeah so my my husband cooked some steaks for dinner tonight for our anniversary and it was just me and my husband and my son <laughs> And a nice little anniversary dinner. But I'm a homebody anyway. I, I'd much rather stay home anyway. Let's see. Okay, so I think I'll go ahead and well, maybe I'll add a couple more branches. I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard to, to decide. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some leaves. Let's do that. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm just going to, you can kind of see what this mush, this mushy mess I made. So I'm just going to kind of smear all that together. And 
then I'm not going to mix it because I want all those colors on here. And then, and then I'm just going to kind of See how that turns out? You just see all the colors. And like I said, you really don't know until you fire it what it's really going to look like. But gosh, I sure hope all these colors show up. Oops. It makes a difference which way you hold your brush. If you want the pointy end to be out, you gotta go, you gotta point it out. His are kind of smeared. I'm not sure I'm liking those, but yeah, that looks a little better. But, you know, these are just really easy plates to do. I hope you guys are having a nice day. It's kind of cold and didn't rain here today, but it sure feels like it. It amazes me how small the world is with the internet. Um, trying to think now, I can't. You know, there's people, I had a woman uh, just before say hi from Switzerland. Like, my goodness sakes, Switzerland. It always just boggles my mind. Is that Esther? Gosh, now I can't. I'm sorry. I was going to, now I forget who, what that name was. But I appreciate you watching. It just always amazes me how far away people watch. I'm going to try to pick up different colors, not all the same colors. Um, because not all the colors, not all the leaves are going to be the same color, right? Hopefully people like this. I don't know. I have to outline, you know, all these different leaves. <laughs> That's gonna... That'll be interesting. So I'm just, as you can skip, you can see my papers. I'm just, I'm not, you know, I'm just kind of smushing the colors together. And I sure hope they stay this beautiful color because I've got some good colors in here. And if you don't like how a leaf looks, just go over it. And now I'm making it worse though. Puh. There we go. I want more of a, I want more of a, I want the leaves a little bit bigger here where you started off. Hmm. Okay, now so you gotta kinda hold it back. You know, kind of look at the composition of it and see if it has some balance. You know, you're not putting too many leaves in one place. I think I'm gonna add some berries. Um I don't know, I guess uh, maybe a reddish brown. I hate to add everything all one color. And I think I'm gonna add, I think I'm gonna add some leaves first. Let's add some leaves. 
Um, I'm going to take some of this avocado green. And let's see here. Now this is um, this avocado. You'll have to um, you have to go over this like three times. I don't, I don't remember it ever having to, having to be that way. Um, but yeah, they uh, it goes all kind of watery, and I I did not add. Usually I let it dry out a little bit, but these this case keeps them pretty moist. But um, you have to put three coats on here for the for the avocado green not to turn, not to burn brown at cone six. I mean cone five. So what I do is I just go around. And then by the time I get back to the um, where I first painted those leaves, hopefully they're dry enough that I'm not uh, going over wet glaze because then it'll just, you're, you're brushing it off. see here I'm liking the green on here what do you think I've got another blank plate sitting here next to me I think I'm gonna do the same thing in Yeah, I wish I could really paint like watercolors on these. I mean, they're kind of like watercolors, but um, if you don't go dark enough, it'll it'll burn out. So many times on my flowers, I add so many different colors to them, and then um, I go to fire them, and all the colors I added are gone, and it ends up being just a plain orange flower or um, plain red flower. So I think um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my base coat of this green on here, get it nice and thick. So it's basically about three coats. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it just to make them pop a little bit. And so it's not a flat color. I wish I'd have added some green leaves on the bowl I made. Not this bowl here, but my other. I'll have to remember when I make some bigger bowls. Right now I'm in the process of glazing, so I won't be in the process of making again until after the pumpkin festival. Hi, Miss Millie. My little kitty cat just. Let's see, I'm going to set this aside. Because if she hops up here, I don't want her, I don't want her knocking anything off. She's, she just loves to come up here and watch me, watch me glaze. But yes, I won't be making anything until after pumpkin festival next this weekend my studio is not just not big enough to do both so okay um, let me add just a little bit of yellow and I don't really worry about um, getting my paints too mixed up you know like mixing colors and stuff because 
I usually don't get enough in there to actually, you know, change the color too much. And then I'm always filling them up, so that gets rid of the odd colors that end up in the palette. And this tray, this is a, it's called a, um, it's, it's, a it's a bead tray, but it's, um, the dividers are not movable. It's like attached dividers. And um, I can look it up on Amazon, but that's where I get it, just from Amazon. So now I think I'm going to go over one more time with the green. Just, just a little bit. I'm liking the yellow that's in there. Some of them have a little, little more yellow than what I would like. See, I got my vest on today. It was chilly out here today. It was, I think it was in the 50s. It was cold. <sighs> Let's see. Um, I think I will add some yellow berries. Try to add a little bit some different colors. This is bright. This is intense yellow here. So hopefully it's not too, too yellow. Um... I think I might, I think I'm going to add it over here. I think I'm going to add a touch of orange to it. I don't, I don't want it just solid yellow. So I'm going to steal some of that yellow from that. There we go. Get a little more out of here. Right. Uh, you don't want to mix it because if you mix it, you're going to end up with orange and you may as well just have used orange. You just want to, um, you know, you just want the little nuances of another color. That's all. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, it might be too much orange. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Um, so I got one there. I think I'll put one here and here. And like I said, once you put your put this in there, you can always go back and go over it, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to add a little bit. Um, more intense yellow and I hope I it doesn't fire too bright yellow but you know if it does that's okay there we go so I think I'm almost I'm almost done and this will fire just like this. Um, pretty much what you see is what you get. There'll be the, sh the colors will be a little bit, little bit darker, um, and it'll be shinier because it'll have a clear glaze on it. And I think I'm going to. I might add. Hmm. I might add some pine cones. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna dabble over here in this brown. I think I'm going to add a little pine cone here. I think I want to add a little bit of white, a little bit of white to it, because I don't, I don't want it to look too bland. There we go. Let's see here. There we go. That looks good. A 
gonna bring a little bit more dark in there so it shows up. Well, kind of went the wrong way. That's all right. I think pine cones are hard to do. Let's see here. Let's put one over here. Uh, let's put some over here. I think I think they look better actually when you do like a series of dots. Kind of gives the illusion of um, little 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 um, oh, what do you call these things on the pine cones? They're little leaves essentially, little petals. My brain's not comprehending that right now. There we go. This is like a, a, a blob, but I think it'll look okay once I go back over it with the um, my black liner. Let's see, I think I'm gonna get more of this lighter color a little bit. Hi, Molly. Hi, baby girl. We've got visitors. Want to come up and say hi? My kitty cats. I don't know what the fascination is with the pottery. But they just uh, love to watch me glaze. No, poi poi. Millie's, Mill, this is Molly here, the white and the gray. And then Millie's over here. She's Tabby, the gray Tabby. She might, she might come over. They are my baby girls. <laughs> I don't have any grandkids, so. Hi. We lost two of our dogs last year. We have one left. We were really missing. We love animals. So I'm tempted to get another dog, but I don't know. It's hard to get up in the middle of the night with them. Right now with my little one, I usually get up like at four o'clock every morning and take him outside to go potty and not too bad in the summertime, but that's not easy in the winter. In the winter time, when the snow's on the ground. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna do just a couple little. Um, see if I can do these little swirlies without ruining the plate. <laughs> um, these are one of the hardest things for me to do and look natural. Let's do another one. I should probably be using a much thinner brush too. Let's see here. Here we go. Um, and these are all just master's touch. They're acrylic Acrylic brushes from Hobby Lobby. Let's 
that's not too bad. I didn't ruin it too bad, did I? <laughs> um, so, okay. So there you go. Oh, and I gotta do the back. What am I gonna do on the back? I always, um, I always do something on the back. Hmm. People love to pick up a plate and see a little, or a cup or a bowl and see a little surprise on the back. Too much, too much brown on there. Well, flowers can't have too much brown, right? You gotta be kind of happy. This, you know, I bet I cut the, I don't know why I cut the tip off of some of my brushes. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I just recently bought some new ones and, uh, I'm not cutting the tip off of those. I don't know why that was bugging me. <laughs> oh, goodness, the things we do sometimes. Let's see here. I guess Molly left us. We weren't exciting enough. I guess I'm going to cover up part of my name back here, but that's all right. Okay, let's see here. Millie's being such a good girl staying over there. I think I'm going to add maybe some leaves instead of add more leaves. go. Hopefully the front side will be dry enough to add the, the black liner. I don't know if this back will be dry enough to set it down, but oops. I thought I picked up a little bit of yellow, but I picked up that's okay. They look like fall leaves. I don't know, get some berries. Get some of this yellow. Put a couple berries here. Maybe get a touch of... That's oh, too much orange. A touch of orange. Let's see here. There we go. I have to go back and add a little bit more of the intense yellow because my berries now look like my leaves. And we don't want that. We want them to stand out on their own. There we go. Okay, um, I'm going to add just a touch of, I keep seeing a touch, a touch of this, a touch of that, but I want these leaves to be a little bit more orange so that my berries don't look like leaves and my leaves don't look like berries. I don't know, that looks okay. I think it'll look better once I put the black liner on it. So now I'm just going to hold this up um, while I paint the other side. So I'm going to 
close this up for a minute. Let's see here. Oh, let's see, I gotta find my um, drinking. I'm still drinking tea. Some hot tea. Let's see, where is my. Oh, here it is. So then I've got my trusty little Zyam um, applicator bottle. This is another number 20 tip. It's the yellow one. And um, let's see, I got a little. See a little mark here. A little imperfection. There we go. I love these little, this one's pretty worn down. I love these little um, sanding tools. Let's see, here's one that, here's one you can still see the name. It's by Kemper. Kemper makes them. They're great to sand down these little. Those little rough edges you see are imperfections. All right. Now let's uh, I shake this up good. I use um, Amico Velvet Underglaze, the jet black in here. And I add a touch of water to it. There we go. So here it is before. You can kind of see some of the detail on there. And I just leave this in here all the time. But as I said before, make sure when you store this, if you're going to leave this full, Always store it upside down so the tip is full of underglaze and you don't let that underglaze dry in that tiny little tip because it's extremely hard to get it out of there. Okay, so let's see here. Now these are leaves, but I kind of intended these to be kind of leaves too. But I think um, what I'll do is draw the outline of the orange ones but the leaves all draw the center also. So always practice on some paper or sponge before you go squirting it on here because once it's on here, it's really hard to correct because it really gets in the plate. And it does clog up a lot because I don't fire my plates in between the bisque. Um, I don't fire these plates once I put this underglaze on. A lot of people do. Um, a lot of people do it on greenware. I like to paint it on bisqueware because I think you can see the colors better. Um, it is easier to wipe it off, I think, if you do make a mistake. But when you're painting on wet clay, I think it's um, really hard to see what the colors are going to be. I don't know. Just my feeling on that. So I like it on the bisque wear. And then, so a lot of people who paint on bisque wear, they'll, they'll glaze fire, or they'll fire this to, I guess they'll... I don't know if they'll bisque it. They'll do a bisque fire again, and then they'll clear it, and then they'll put a glaze on it. I I don't um, I don't do that. I um I'll just put when this is dry. I will put a zinc free clear on it, and then I'll fire it. I am not going to do a separate glaze firing just to set them in but because I don't um, they do like to the tip can get clogged easily so I'm always uh, just squirting a little bit out on my paper towel to keep the tip clean and as long as you're pulling your uh, applicator away from you you never want to go this way. You want to always be pulling it in that direction. 
it's really not it's really not too bad it works out pretty well here and this is my these these acorns I did so when I put the clear glaze on here um, just put it on very gently, you know. Use a nice big thick fan brush and be gentle putting it on. Don't, you know, you're not smearing it on, you're just gently applying it. So you can see the difference from one side to another with that, you know, the black underglaze liner really makes it pop. This, this is really turning out pretty. Ah, see, it got clogged. I talk about it too much and it doesn't. And thanks to everybody for all the kind words and support. You guys are really so nice. All my all my followers are so nice. Because it's, you know, it's it's hard to put yourself out there. Expect, you know, when it's come to artwork, you guys know how that is. You know, that's why I never like to give my stuff away as gifts. Because, you know, you don't know if somebody's going to like it. I mean, art, art is very subjective, and you know, it's just not everybody's thing. So I don't know, I always feel weird about giving it away. <laughs> so I gotta turn this around here so I can pull this towards me. It's amazing what this black does to it. Some more acorns. I mean, not acorns. Am I calling them acorns? Pine cones. Goodness sakes. My brain is ready to go to bed already. It's too early. I got too much work to do. Gosh. I have a... I don't know, I got a little black blob there. I don't know what that is supposed to be. But... We'll just go with it. I think the green leaves have a, give it a nice contrast, don't you? 
and I really hope that when this fires that these oranges and yellows stay here and they don't all burn out and I don't end up with a bunch of orange leaves and green leaves. My bowl that I did, they didn't burn out so the colors are pretty thick so I think it'll be okay. You just gotta be careful not to water them down too much. Um, I know some people do but usually it's on low fire. This is my favorite part. Am I done already? Oh no, I got one more branch to go. I hope I didn't smear the back. I forgot I was, that was still wet. This dries really fast on this bisqueware. So I think I'm done on the front. So what do you think? like that. This, this plate actually warped a little bit but I'm not gonna worry about it. Hopefully it'll flatten out a little bit um, in the glaze firing but I don't know it's hand-built. People have to realize that things that are hand-built aren't gonna be usually they're not perfect right? If I was aiming for perfection, <laughs> it wouldn't be me. <laughs> I've just never been a person who, um, I don't know, set my sights too high on perfection. I, you know, I've always done things kind of by the seat of my pants. I don't know. I'm too right-brained, I think. I don't think there's any left brain in there. I never was very good at math or anything. Okay. Let's see if I can't get this black marker. Off. Oh, I bet that's underglazed. Ah, look at that. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. I'm getting it. Uh... You should have told me I was getting it in there. <laughs> oh. Yesterday, the, the video I posted, um, I, probably should, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but um, when I watched it back, it was the one um, I was painting the pumpkin plate. I realized I had been holding the cat, and uh, I, had, I had cat hair all over me. <laughs> oh, gosh, everything I own has cat hair now. So there it is. And like I said, I, for, for people who you know, say, um, oh, but I want to see it fired. I want to see it done. Well, you'll see it come out of the glaze kiln. Um, and when I get it fired, I'll take a picture and post it on this. But basically, it's going to look the same. It's just going to be shiny. That's all. The colors will all be the same. So there it is. And let me move my camera up so I can say goodbye. Oh, there's Molly, girl. So I hope you like that. That turned out pretty. I'm happy with that. Very fallish. Um, no, oh, I'm, I'm gonna put a couple marks on my berries. <laughs> it's the little things, right? So, ha! Huh, I'm gonna paint one more, and then I don't know if I'm gonna tackle those mugs tonight. It's getting late. It's probably about maybe nine o'clock here. Um, gosh, we're going on 50, I'm looking at the time on my phone, we're going on like 54 minutes, so yeah, it's probably almost 9 o'clock, it's an hour from my bedtime, <laughs> I know, I'm getting old, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and, um, if you like, if you like it, you can, uh, please hit share, and share it, helps my algorithms, and I think that's about it.
thanks for watching and thanks for all the nice comments. You guys are so good. And um, oh, let me look. I'll show you the kitty cats real fast. What do we got? There's Millie. There's Molly. What are you doing, Millie? Can you see Millie over there? She's sitting on my slab roller. If you can see my slab roller there. So her cat hair is all over the all over the canvas. So my clay has so my canvas has clay on it. Girls, don't be knocking anything down. They get playing up here. It's like, oh my gosh. When I wake up in the morning, my sponges are all over and brushes and everything. So, <laughs> oh, but I love them to death. Have a great evening and thanks for watching. As always, have a great day.